Hello and welcome to this new episode of Heroes 3 Battles. Here we start a new season of this series and I think I have uh, quite an interesting battle ahead. Now in this scenario I will be seeing which is better, the Angelic Alliance or the Clock of the Undead King. Now port both artifacts are really overpowerful and uh, the each one of them has its own merits, of course. Uh, the one pretty much relies on pure strength and the other on numbers. So we'll be seeing which is better in this video. Now um, we'll start with the good uh, alliance here. Um, of course, as you might remember from the Set of Death campaigns, um, the Rambart and Stronghold were allied together and battled Sandro, so that's why I made this arrangement here. And of course I will be using Crackhack as he was one of the heroes involved. And there's also Jello here. Um, uh, pretty much the only reason that he's here is for his awesome ability of uh, getting some sharpshooters on the game. Um, so let's start here by gating the Azelic Alliance and here as you can see, uh, let's get this like that, now Crackhack is really overpowerful with the artifacts and the reason is that it's a, one of them gives a plus to all of the primary skills so if you add them all together, you have this arrangement here. And not only that, of course, it also allows um, all the neutral and uh, good uh, castles to uh, uh, mix up together, but it also uh, gets an expert prayer. And so, yeah, that's pretty much, of course, really powerful artifact. And let's see here what I should be getting for um, for troops. Now, of course, having a rampart with the treasury kind of makes it a lot easier. Um, I mean, I won't be having any trouble to get all of the troops that I want. And of course, uh, what might be the best uh, way to get these troops is to have uh, all the high level creatures from uh, both arrangements so I'm getting this and that from here and that's pretty much our army as you can see here um, I do have a lot of behemoths and gold dragons stuff like that a lot of sharp shooters and of course all of this will be given to Kraghag here um, and let's rearrange them a little bit. I think something like that would be nice. And yeah, all right. So let's get a gel look here. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for Gar Crackhack here. As as I said, he has a lot of uh, primary skills. Of course, he's also a decent, a really great hero. Uh, let's get all this. Uh, spell points back and he can wait here for the attack and so let's see what the clock of the undead has to offer and let's go to the necropolis here um, now um, first of all I'm not giving Sandro the armor of the damned uh, as I, I only want to have these uh, two artifacts in comparison the clock of the undead and of course, uh, to emulate how the Clock of the Undead would give him a lot of troops, I gave him 2000 leeches. Now, to be fair, this is kind of generous in a way. I mean, if Sandro had all this experience, that's uh, 100,000 uh, experience. Uh, so this, um, if you translate this into Lichess, um, that's pretty much how many you would get if you had the Clock of the Undead from the very start. And this means that this is quite generous because um, in a way 
uh, you would have some losses uh, along the way, um, especially when you're low level. And as you can see here, Sandra is now level 21. Um, so yeah, uh, giving uh, 2000 liters is, I think, pretty generous. And there's another point I wanted to make here, that's why I added Tamika here. So let's uh, rearrange them a little bit. Now what you, I think you want to do when you have the clock of the Undead King is that you want to have uh, at least one slot with uh, plain leeches and the other ones with the upgraded ones. And let me show you right away. Um, let's first upgrade them here, of course. This is quite expensive. But let me show you right away uh, the reason why. Now. As you can see here, leeches have a base health of 30 and power leeches have a base health of 40. Uh, this kind of means that when uh, you win a battle, you would get a substantial amount of less leech power leeches instead of leeches. Which means that you kind of need to have one of the slots, uh, unupgraded ones, so that you will always get a little bit more uh, army. Uh, to demonstrate this, here I have <coughs> sorry, here I have Tamika with uh, 40 leeches and I will be attacking uh, 30 power leeches. So that's uh, in, with the same amount of experience, that's how many you would get. As you can see here, that's uh, uh, they do start first because um, their speed is a little bit more but um, that's the thing you do get a lot more and so let's see how this battle will go it's pretty much balanced of course they do have a better arrangement here but let's see if this leeches will prevail and I mean if it's actually a good choice to have them like that So yeah, the thing is that since they were arranged like that, their attacks were actually better. Um, but still, I think uh, it still is a valid point because you can have a lot more leeches and then upgrade them to power leeches. As they are greater uh, in some ways. Let's see here. Okay, they do have a little bit more damage, that's why this is what happened. They don't have uh, a difference in attack and defense skill though. But they do start first, so yeah, that's pretty much how they won this. Okay, um, so yeah, maybe that's... That's uh, better to have power leeches, but as I said, I think it's best to have like something like that, you know, a little bit less here and then upgrade all this. Of course, um, another thing that you might want to do is have a lot of leeches like this, but also rely on uh, getting some of the troops. For instance, you still could have a little bit of uh, some of these troops, right? So let's see how this will go. And let's go here and actually attack Crackhack and see how this will go. So, okay, Crackhack here has. Uh, tactics um, as a barbarian I mean I think it's safe to say that that could uh, be the case and as you can see here he starts with prayer and of course that's something you need to um, take a hold of 
um, but to be honest I don't really see um, I mean I could go for implosion of course fine but maybe even this uh, could be I think a, a best way to use the spells is to summon elementals but anyway you know what I think I uh, can get simple since Krakak wouldn't have a lot of spells anyway I think it's a best strategy to just keep it simple so let's see how devastating his attacks will be right away of course uh, what I'm going to do here is block all of these archers and try to yeah and try to kill like everyone and what I'm seeing here of course I might be wrong I might be wrong but what I see here is that the Zelinga Alliance is quite uh, devastating here and I mean uh, he does have a lot of leeches left but in the end I don't really think it will suffice of course um, having a lot of leeches could uh, allow me to have some Armageddon stuff maybe a berserk here would be nice and stuff like that but yeah I don't really think there's a lot of things that you could do I mean having a berserk could be nice here and yeah okay so he resisted to that here So let's see how many this attack will do. Not really. Not enough, I think. Okay, so... Um, I mean... Since uh, he got this berserked, I could just... Um, maybe even teleport one of them but to be honest uh, I don't really think that matters uh, let's attack here I mean I think I can even uh, win this with pure strength here I might be wrong of course but this could be the case And as you can see, I, I didn't even get a spell right away. So, once again, it's Sanders' turn. And uh, quite honestly, let's go for a haste, maybe. I mean, and let's go here. Let's end this if we can. Alright, so let's see if pure strength will do the trick and as i said these uh, power leeches are quite a lot so uh, i do attack with great strength but they are so many that their counter attacks are actually powerful as well so what i'm going to do with sandra here let's play a little bit sleeky here let's end this one here if we can and that's the thing as you can see now uh 260 leeches attacked here but it wasn't really sufficient enough because uh crack hack has uh, so great a defense and sharp shooters are not really even uh great in defense uh, as units Right, so, I mean, what uh, he could do here, I mean, let's see how many he would animate. So, as you can see, that's really not a lot here. Um, oh, okay, that was a misclick. But, uh, yeah, okay, that wasn't that bad uh, of a move. But, yeah, as I said, 
I mean, they are really powerful here. What uh, Krakak could do um, is go for implosions because, yeah, they do um, get a lot of creatures out of the way. And of course, there will be a round two for this video to see how it could go the other way. But uh, the way I see it right now, I mean, um, Anime Dead didn't cut it. Maybe an Armageddon would cut it a little bit. But yeah. Okay, you know what? Maybe Crackhack would actually even be in trouble. Now, okay, for instance, what uh, Crackhack could do here. That's only 52. Okay, uh, let's get this one here. So, since he has brute strength here and a lot of spell points, since of course uh, he has the artifacts, I think uh, a safe bet is to get Earth Elementals. We'll see right away how many damage this will do. Um, so, let's uh, attack. Here and as I said, I mean, as you can see here, it doesn't really have all that much. The behemoths uh, did a number on them, actually. Um, so of course I could go for, and you can see the difference here. Um, the elementals that Sandro can master, they are really not a lot. Uh, maybe an implosion would do a little bit of the, the trick here. And of course, uh, Craghack can keep getting some elementals here. But yeah, um, oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, but I don't really see the point. I mean, um, even with getting rid of this. I mean, there's no real way that Krakak or uh, Sandro would win this. And for round one, that is, I think that's how it will go. Of course, we will see in round two uh, a new version where Sandro could actually win this. Maybe even I should be giving him the cloak of uh, the armor of the damned. Uh, we'll see about it in the second round but as it is uh, what I can see here in the first glance is that having a really powerful uh, hero in these uh, skills kind of makes a difference of course as you can see I lost a lot uh, of course I have um, some gold left but I really lost a lot here and yeah this means that this demonstrate how powerful this clock is and to be quite honest uh, let's face it uh, this uh, clock is actually uh, three minor artifacts and uh, this could be this is a little bit expensive but this two you can pretty much find almost everywhere so yeah Having the clock is rather easy. Uh, having the Angelic Alliance is not that easy at all. And for instance, these two artifacts are really rare. And this is rare too. I mean, you can get these three quite easily, but these three not that much. And so, yeah, this was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. Uh, as I said, there will be a round two. So stay tuned for more and see you next time. Cheers.